Today I'm making an airless basketball out of a special type of filament called PEBA or PEBA filament. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you've probably seen the airless basketballs that I've made out of the Kimya PEBA S filament. It is the filament that's had the best bounce and durability that I've tested so far. It actually has a bounce that's really similar to the basketballs that you can actually buy from the store. But unfortunately, Kimya has officially discontinued their PEBA S filament, so I've been looking into alternatives that will perform either just as well or even better than the Kimya S filament, and I'm going to start with this Yasin PEBA. After a couple days, it was done printing and ready for cleanup, but there were some issues with it printing on the bottom of the ball, so I had to repair some of it with a 3D pen, and when I was done repairing it, I took it out to the garage and just sanded off the supports. This is what it looked like when it was all cleaned up and now it's ready for some bounce testing. After comparing the two PIBA filaments, it's pretty obvious that the Kimya does bounce a bit better, but I will say the Yasin PIBA does have a better bounce against some of the mid-range filaments like this BQ PLA HR filament. Next, I took the ball out to a basketball court and just played around with it to see how it would hold up when you actually play basketball, and it held up very well and I'm pretty impressed. I go over everything in a lot more detail in our full video on our channel, so be sure to go and check that out. I also have a lot of exciting filaments to test in the near future, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.